The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the All A7 Podcast Show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the Genius Kids Show. Welcome to our electrifying show, the Genius Kids Show. And this show, we showcase the gifted, intelligent, and talented, and extraordinary kids we have here in Zimbabwe. So this is the one and only platform that features all kids, I mean, of all ages. You know, you know them from five years, six years, 12 years. Yeah, uh, those kids who are the most talented we have in our country. So today we have a young, fine artist, you know, and an uh, animator, you know, and he's just 12 years. It's none other than Anna Shedonio Kariza. Welcome to the Genius Kids, my brother. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, and how are you? I'm all right. I can't believe that you're 12 years. Mm, yes. So before the before the, the, the show, I was like, no, you are you're 12. But I'm looking at his height. He's like, okay. <laughs> What's your height? Do you know how your height? Oh, yes. I'm 166, 5 foot 6 inches. Serious? Yes. But you're, you're tall, man. <laughs> you're tall. So maybe when you get to 28, you'll be like Jab Razor. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, you know what, my brother? Uh, I, I like what you're doing. I've been, you know, following you. I, I've seen your work. I've seen what you're doing. That is why you are on this uh, platform uh, today. So... Um, uh, you are young, but uh, already you have discovered yourself. You have discovered your talent. Uh, I mean, that is drawing. Anashe, tell us briefly about yourself. I want to understand. Okay. My name is Anashe Dono Kariza. Mm -hmm. I am 12 years old, turning 13. Turning 13. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am in Form 1. And my hobbies are drawing, animating, gaming, mm -hmm. and playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Playing soccer? Yes. Uh, which position? Oh. We are five in, my, in our family, mm -hmm. and I'm um, the middle child of the three. Okay. And, um, I mean, in soccer, which position do you... Oh, in soccer, I play right wing, but <laughs> mostly every position. Okay, okay. every position. Yes. Even goalkeeping? Yes, even goalkeeping. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting. Okay. So how, how have your uh, siblings supported uh, you in your drawings? Oh, they have supported me in my drawings by encouraging me each and every time I show them my drawings. Mm -hmm. Like, when I showed them the black, they mm -hmm. told me how, I, how I'm doing it wrong. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes I'll be drawing one arm longer than the other arm. Exactly. And when they're supposed to be aligned like Exactly. Us. Yes. Yes. I get it. And mm -hmm. your parents? Oh, my parents, they've supported me by buying me the tools I need for drawing, like the sketch pencils, the erasers, the sharpeners, and the sketch pads. Mm. So, uh, at what age did you start drawing or is just, you know, a gift you were born with? I started drawing at the age of four. Four? Yes. Oh, you joke, my guy. <laughs> this can be true. It is. Serious? Serious. At four? Yes, at four. Do you remember your first drawing? Yes, it was like a, it was a drawing of my toy. Uh -huh. It was a Spider-Man, but <laughs> the leg was broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But what motivates you to draw? I'm seeing people exhibiting their art in art museums. Uh -huh. That's what motivates me to draw. Wow. That's interesting. Guys. He's a young boy, 12 years, fine artist. But can you draw me? Ah, uh, not yet. <laughs> That's not yet. Soon enough. Okay. So, uh, some say environment uh, is of importance, you know, when it comes to drawing. Um, what's your comment? Do you consider the environment or you just draw? Yes, it's important. I consider a peaceful and quiet environment when mm -hmm. I'm drawing so that I can concentrate. Mm -hmm. Which school do you go to? I go to Y State College. Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's in Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. Okay. So I want to understand how your school is supporting you in all this. Uh, at the moment, I just studied Form 1, so they don't really know much about my talent. Mm -hmm. But do they offer, like, um, uh, drawing classes? Ah, no, not yet. They mm -hmm. don't offer drawing classes. They don't. So at school, what is your favorite subject and why? Computer science is my favorite subject because mm -hmm. it helps when I'm improving my animation so that I can put it on the billboards like those movies, Tom and Jerry and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, computer science. Yes. So uh, to someone who doesn't understand computer science, maybe just explain a bit. 
or computer science is like the basic learning of technology. You're mm -hmm. like put into like how you work a computer, like the input devices and output devices. Mm -hmm. And you also learn about how to make animations mm -hmm. using those animation softwares. Oh, yes, I understand. And I, I, I know that um, your favorite subject as well is uh, computer science. So who is your computer science teacher? Our computer science teacher is Ms. Chirinda. Uh -huh. Big shout out to you, Mr. Chirinda. So he's the one teaching you all this or? He is. Okay, <laughs> nice. Tell us about your hobbies. My hobbies are gaming, drawing, animating, and playing soccer. Mm. So when someone is drawing, uh, I want to, uh, there's a story you know, to it. It's like, okay, um, I want to talk about environment. I want to talk about um, whatever, tourism or something. So your drawing, is there a story to it or is it just? Uh, for me, so far, there's no story to it. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's just the drawing on its own. Mm -hmm. What tools do you use when drawing? I use sketch pencils, colors, erasers, sharpeners, and mm -hmm. sketch pads. But mm -hmm. the most important art tool I use is the sketch pencil because without the sketch pencil, mm -hmm. there's plainly just nothing on the paper. It's just oh, yeah. plain paper. Mm -hmm. Do you have like your favorite drawing ah, I just from like the drawing that you have done so far? Mm, no, I like all of them. <laughs> all of them? Yes. So do you have uh, a worst drawing? Like, you say, this one is the worst, you know. <laughs> you did uh, yourself or you just, you know, tear it up. Oh, I have it. I keep it so that I can see how much I've improved over the time. Mm -hmm. You keep it? Yes. Say, oh, okay, from this one, now I'm here, now I'm here. Okay, to measure yes. your growth. Yes. No, I, 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 I like that. But... Um, who are your favorite um, artists and, uh, you know, your inspirations? My favorite artists are Zekri Heish, Akira Toriyama, mm -hmm. and Gege Akutami. Mm -hmm. But the one who inspires me the most is Tawanda and my sister, Vineka. Uh -huh. she also, she's also an artist? Yes. Wow, your sister? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. So how do you make your art? I make my art with reference from a picture and sometimes I just come up with a plain idea from my head and I'm like, yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. I can just draw that and it's, wow, spectacular. Okay. No, that's fine. And do you have a name for your, for your art style? Some people, they come with some names. Mm. Do you have a name? I'm still looking for a name for my art style, but at the moment I don't. Okay. Maybe after watching or after we've seen what he's doing, We'll come up with a, with a name. Yes. Yeah, we'll suggest one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what theme or, or message do you aim to, to convey uh, through your art? So far, I don't think I have one, but maybe in the near future when my art has improved, mm -hmm. I would like to add a theme and message to it mm -hmm. for other people to understand how I'm doing it. Okay, so um, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years or so? In the next 10 years, I could see myself as a fine, fine, fine artist that mm -hmm. I would be so good at drawing a person so that the next time I come back here, you'll just be like, so can you now draw? And I'll be like, yes, mm -hmm. just take a paper and I'll just draw you like that. And then i show you and be like, wow, you're very talented. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I like that. So we can't wait to see our fine artists, you know, in the making. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, any skills you know, required for one to be an artist? Yes, practice and skills are really required for one to be an artist. Mm -hmm. Without practice and skill, your artworks just go from nice, but back to down, down, down mm -hmm. to, to very terrible. Yes. But if you have practice and skill, your art will improve, like, that you'll be even better than me. Yeah. You're skyrocketing to mm -hmm. the world. Yes. Or you'll be known, you'll be known by every Everyone, country. yeah, yeah. And how do you develop your, your art skills? I personally deserve develop my art skills by checking for tutorials on YouTube mm -hmm. or by referring back to my old art to see how I drew this one. Mm -hmm. Then I just copy and paste it, not by tracing, mm -hmm. but just by looking at the details and yeah. then just drawing it in another paper. Okay, interesting. So uh, at this point in time, um, can you show us, you know, uh, some of the drawings you've done and take us through, you know, what they depict and what inspired you to draw uh, these amazing uh, art. Okay. Hmm. So this one. Okay. So let, 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 let's show the world so that they can see. Okay. Like this. Wow. I hope you guys can see this. All right. Wow. Uh-huh. This is the drawing I did about one month ago. Mm-hmm. 
it is about Minato Namikaze from the hit yes. series anime, Naruto yes. Shifuden. Okay. I was inspired to draw this when I saw the creator of Naruto drawing this freely in front of the world. So I was uh -huh. like, let me just try and see how it came out. Yes. And I got this. Wow. Wow. This is good. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Then the <laughs> next one. Wow. Is my inspiration from Giga Kutami, uh -huh. Jujutsu Kaisen. Yes. I drew this when I saw him just making the manga freely with no stress. Okay. And I was like, let me just do the same thing as well. <laughs> as well, and he did it. This is the update of this one. Oh, this one? Yes, this is in 2023 uh -huh. and this is in 2022. Wow, wow. Wow. A one year improvement. Improvement. Yes. yes, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're going, ah, yeah, 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 you're getting there. You're getting there now. This is the one I drew. Mm -hmm. I was inspired by the late Akira Toriyama uh -huh. when he made his hit show Dragon Ball GT. Yes, yes. His show was so nice that I was like, you know what? Let me just do it. Exactly. This is where skill and practice comes in, ah, like how I drew my art. Yes. This is from a tutorial from YouTube. Uh -huh. Wow. This wow. one, Inazuma 11. Uh -huh. It's more about soccer. This is Ash Knight the right wing. Uh -huh. Hitting his fantastic skill, Windstorm. Yes. I was inspired by the creator of Inazuma 11, mm -hmm. Aries, mm -hmm. and what is it? The Moon series. Y yes. Then this one here. Wow. When you're just thinking about your friends from a long time ago, you end up drawing this. <laughs> <laughs> I inspired this. This is me. This is Tawonga and this is Tino. Wow. I was just like, let me yes. just draw my friends and see how uh -huh. it comes out like. Yes, yes. Then here, why don't you spice it up? Mm -hmm. Me and my brother. Ah. If we're in Haley's on it. It's ah. a cartoon on 303 channel, Disney channel. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is amazing, man. <laughs> I, I, I love the artwork that you're doing. It's really inspiring. And also, I, I'm sure uh, the other young, young, young boys out there, or uh, even, you know, who uh, wants to be like what you're doing. Exactly. Wow, I, I like it. So what are your dreams regarding your, your drawing, um, your, your drawing talent? My dreams are so that I can exhibit it in an art museum and also that I can be a movie maker that can inspire kids around the world, mm -hmm. not just the ones in Zimbabwe, yes. but the ones around, mm -hmm. so that I can just tell them, follow your dreams with no, with passion, mm -hmm. and always be encouraged to do anything you can. Don't yes. let the haters tell you mm -hmm. what, just mm -hmm. always do it. And because on the mo at the moment I'm making an animated movie, okay. but I need a bit more years. But yes. in 2027 it mm -hmm. should be done. Even 2027. Yes. <laughs> Vision 2027. <laughs> no, I, I, I like that. And uh, what is the most challenging part of being an artist? Uh, I have to say shading. Yeah. Because when, when you're done drawing your artwork, you're like, you need to add extra detail. And that's mm -hmm. where shading comes in. Mm -hmm. But after shading, you need to hatch the artwork. Mm -hmm. You need to ink it and then hatch it. But shading, where shading comes in is when you're now coloring to add the darkest mm -hmm. parts. Like in real life, when you're in the sun, when someone takes a picture of you, there's these dark shading marks yes. because of the sun's reflection. Yes. Then you have to add it on mm -hmm. your drawings. Mm -hmm. But then it gets harder and harder because that takes most about like a day of my time. Oh, yeah. So then that's why I say shading's the hardest part. Yeah, I know. I understand now. So do you give titles to your, to your drawings? Titles? Ah, uh, uh, so far, no, but... In 2027, as I said about that movie, mm -hmm. I have titles, themes, and messages, and all that for my drawings. Mm. You mentioned about animation. You're also an animator, and uh, at, su at such a young age, you know, I can say you have so many things uh, you want to change in the industry. So, what is an anim uh, animation? Oh, well, animation is a film technique used by animators and artists when they want to make drawings come to life. Mm -hmm. In short terms, they're trying to make these drones that are just still images mm -hmm. into moving pictures by just using frames. Like mostly they use about 1.2 thousand frames. Mm -hmm. Mostly that comes out in about five years or so okay. because of they need more than one artist. Mm -hmm. And with all of that, in those days, it's what gives you the perfect show. Like the hit cartoon we'll be watching back in 19 something like Tommy <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Yeah. So, what what are your your favorite um, you know animation methods um, to to work with? I, my favorite animation methods to work with are the two D and three D. 
I like 2D because it's just like what I'm doing here on paper. Mm -hmm. You're just drawing, but on frames. You're doing movement, face structuring, yes. just moving them like, mm -hmm. like how we're talking right yes. now. Yes, And 3D, because 3D is just taking a 3D object, mm -hmm. moving it, using rigging. Mm -hmm. It's another, what is it, animation. Animation, technique. yeah. Okay. So what is a um, storyboard in animation? I always hear about uh, mm -hmm. uh, storyboard. Uh, storyboard. Well, storyboard in animation is a series of drawings and short explanations based on a story idea. Mm -hmm. Like you're making a script for your new well-known movie. You have to take a bond paper, sketch pad, and a sketch pencil. Mm -hmm. Just sketching what your storyboard would look like. Mm -hmm. Like you first draw boxes, then you draw what is it? A series of drawings of people yes. just walking around and moving. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah, this is it. Then you get all your artists and that. Then you're putting it on computer. Next thing you know, skyrocketed it's around the world mm, nice so what do you believe is the most important tool in creating efficient storyboards an efficient storyboard has a amount of a lot of tools but mm -hmm. the most efficient tool to make a nice storyboard are the sketch pads and the sketch pencils because without them there's much no storyboard and without a storyboard there's no movie mm -hmm. you mentioned about um rigging so what does rigging mean in um, animation? Rigging in animation means the basic movement of 3D objects with digital bones. Because mm -hmm. we in real life, we move with bones that are attaching our bodies yes. just doing this. Yes. So in, rig in animation, rigging is a digital bone you'd be putting in 3D objects mm -hmm. to make them move like how we do in real life. Okay. Oh, now I see. It makes sense. Yes. So what is your favorite video game? How uh, would you improve its, um, its animation? My favorite video game is Dream League Soccer 2024. Uh -huh. I would improve its animation by making the facial structures of the soccer players more realistic than mm -hmm. they already are, mm -hmm. adding more celebrations mm -hmm. to the game, right? and making sure that they are handballs. Mm, all the handballs. Yes, <laughs> uh, they miss that. Every time you're playing a game with the handballs and then you're just playing on, it's frustrating <laughs> at some point. Oh, man, I got better ball. Hey, hey. P, referee, where are you? Exactly. <laughs> so what is the, uh, I mean, your, your favorite software uh, programs for, um, for animating? There are a lot, but my favorite are five. Mm -hmm. The five I have are Stick Notes Pro. What is it? Flipper Clip. Mm -hmm. Pivot Animator version 5. What is it? Blender. Mm -hmm. uh, Blender is hard, yeah. but it's for experienced people, but still, I'm okay. getting there. Yeah. And Microsoft PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how these um, softwares work? Okay, Stick Nodes is just like Pivot Animator. You're using Stickman, but you're adding more detail. You can mm -hmm. add background, effects, lighting, everything, even voice projection, just mm -hmm. putting your sound and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. losing your voice like we're doing yes. in real life. Yes. And Microsoft PowerPoint, it's a way where you make, it's a, it's a program, right, where that you use to make, what is it, files for businesses. But mm. personally, me and my friend at school, David, we use it like for making animations. Mm -hmm. So each of the frames, we mostly use like 120 something frames yes. for us to make a proper moving animation with its effects. Mm -hmm. And what is it? Flipper Clip. Uh, Flipper Clip is also just like stick notes, but the problem is here, yeah, it's 2D mm -hmm. animation. So mm -hmm. you'll be just drawing it like okay. face to face drawing. Mm -hmm. It's just like drawing hand to hand, hand on hand paper, mm -hmm. but you just be using frames, I like all of them, mm -hmm. just adding each together, mouth movement, body movement, yes. every movement with mm -hmm. a hint of rigging. Okay, interesting. I'm here talking to Anashe on the Genius Kids show. He's a fine artist talking to us about animation and you know, his art, uh, you know, drawings and whatnot. Hey, and do you have any experience in creating uh, special effects? Special effects, no, but I'm getting there. You are getting there? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. So what advice do you have to uh, the young stars you know, of uh, your age who are also talented just like you? My advice for you youngsters out there who are watching the Ola Seven show, all I have to say is follow your dreams and let nobody stop you. Mm -hmm. There's a big road ahead of you. For youngsters like me, I'm 12 years old and you can see I'm already on the All Up podcast show. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it very much. But for you, you might be just watching, but I enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Because there are, there are roads where it comes with there will be people who are doubting you. 
but use that doubting power to make you a stronger mm. version of yourself. Mm. Mm. Because for me, there are a lot of people who don't like my art. Yeah. And for me, I just say, I use that hate and I turn it into art like exactly. this. Exactly, exactly. So if there are people like that, you know there are problems with them themselves. So mm -hmm. there's no reason to just be like, ah, I don't want to stop drawing. Mm. Continue with your life. Because there's a lot ahead of you. And life is short. Mm -hmm. So make sure to do everything with the time you have. So profound. Turning lemon into lemon. Exactly. <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> so drug and substance abuse, you know, um, on the rise these days. And uh, any words on youths ab abusing drugs? I don't have a lot of much to say for those youths who are abusing drugs, but don't do drugs. Drugs mm -hmm. destroy your future. Because drugs, naturally, they were made for people like... Not, they were not made for people as mm -hmm. such, but... There are people who abuse drugs because drugs came found in medicine mm -hmm. that to help us get better from the flu we have yes. nowadays. Mm -hmm. But people are now abusing it by now, like drinking it in the toilets at school, like mm -hmm. all of that. So drugs, drugs, they don't have a purpose in life. They're mm -hmm. just there to destroy your future, yeah. destroy your school. If you don't do drugs, you have a proper career. You'll be able to find work jobs without any frustration mm -hmm. and life would be easy for you. Exactly. Guys, this... Uh this was a, like an insightful, you know, conversation uh, with my brother here, youngster, called Anshe Daniel Kariza, a talented, fine artist and animator with a bright future ahead of him. And it's been fun having him on this show, uh, the Genius Kids Show. So if you know of any kids who are talented, gifted, and intelligent as well, guys, this is the right platform uh, to show off what you are made of. So come through and let's have a conversation on the Genius Kids Show. And, you know, also email us on the email on your screen, bookings at allasevenpodcastshow.com. Bookings at allasevenpodcastshow.com. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.